good morning director sir hi good morning madam yes. uh, i uh, give my best to sir for uh, today's presentation of project uh, patriot 3 and 4 okay madam you can proceed i think participant will be at it yes sir thank you sir anupriya ma'am please go ahead thank you sir thank you so much thank you sir madam good morning one and all respected honorable chief patan sri tarseem singh sir patan sri sp singh sir secretary uh honorable sri director sir uh, dr priyadarshi jarwal <laughs> professor pallavi ma'am iqac coordinator professor swetha kumari dean academics all faculty member a very good morning i professor anupriya department of english i welcome you all in one week national level online faculty development program on nat revise assessment and accreditation same work 2022 under azadi ka azadi ka amrit mahotsav ek bharat shreshth bharat today is day 3 session on 8 june 2022 we will have a two technical session so i will start the session with criteria 3 so i would like to invite the resource person professor prabhakar kumar of criteria 3 to present the presentation first of all i am very much thankful to respected director sir in this regard who has given me opportunity to present this criteria 3 and all the participants and all the senior mm -hmm. members who are going to present in the, this session i am also very much thankful to uh, them to uh, pay attention towards uh, listening this criteria 3 now i would request to uh, professor mahmood sir to share my ppt based on that i would present the uh, criteria 3 i would try to present criteria 3 so i'm just beginning with uh, slide 1 in this slide 1 i would uh, try to explain the presence of my team members as this criteria 3 is having uh, coordinators uh, one coordinator is uh, myself and second coordinator is uh, professor pallavi prashad and along with that professor vikas jain sir is also assisting us in the form of coordinator apart from that we have uh, next slide please sir i would request to show the next slide we have some other team members also who are associated with uh, this criteria 3 in this regard as you see the criteria next criteria 3 uh, new manual certain changes has been introduced in this regard the entire criteria 3 has been divided into five parts so these five parts you will see the first part that is called research mobilization for research in this this jayanti kumari has been assigned the role of uh, compilation and collection of data the second criteria the sub criteria is innovation ecosystem and this professor neeraj kumari is associated with this criteria uh, subset 2 and in criteria 3.3 research publication and awards for this professor sogta sir professor vikas kumar jain is assisting us and the criteria 3.4 which is related to extension activities in this we are taking help of dr arun prashad banwal and mrs palvi prashad then the last segment of this criteria 3 is collaboration in which we are taking help from the council head also dr rajiv khan sir and including me there is pallavi prashad ma'am and vikas kumar jain this is the entire structure of criteria 3 and the different roles and responsibilities of the professors assigned for the sub criteria which is which comes under criteria 3 next slide please sir after 10 diploma course and health course practice so now the first criteria which is uh, criteria 3.1 uh, it is the research mobilization for research which consists of 10 marks if we just read out the specification related to this research mobilization for research then we will get uh, more clarity on this criteria 3.1.1 uh, this research uh, mobilization for research criteria 3.1 depicts about grants received from government and non governmental agencies for research projects endowments in the institution during the last 5 years in terms of indian rupees in lakhs so whatever total grants we are getting collecting from different government or non government institutions which is going to which are going to help us in research mobilization for research that part comes under this criteria 3.1 so criteria 3.1.1 deals with that this is the present requirement of nec criteria 3.1.1 next slide please sir 
now the, what is our effort as part as the part of our uh, college what is the involvement of our college and contribution of our college in the fulfillment of requirement of criteria 3.1.1 as per the expectation of nec uh, nec uh, recommendations uh, first of all i would like to uh, describe about this research advisory committee that is called rac uh, under the guidance of respected director sir it has been constituted and presently we are having uh, seven eight people who are having phd degree and they are serving our college Uh, college in the form of associate professor and uh, professor level uh, services they have been assigned to develop certain kind of research proposals in this certain research proposals they have to develop the alignment with different government mm -hmm. agencies and if their pro proposals gets approved then automatically the fund would be allocated to those faculty members in the name of that college our college and this will go on in this regard so a uh, research advisory advisory committee is presently working on it and we are expecting that very soon we are going to get some uh, positive uh, news in this regard that uh, project proposals uh, approval of project proposals and in this regard the allotment of the funds also allotment and allocation of funds also this is the first thing our college is uh, going through in the form of yeah, rc and the second thing that i would like to introduce over here it is called margdarshak even in that which is uh, the recommendation of aict uh, and for the different colleges through that margdarshak also our college has developed a, uh, an agreement with uh, nit jamshedpur from there uh, very renowned and scholar person is regularly visiting our college and they have adopted our college in the form of menti institute and his guidance is making us very fruitful and we are moving forward to that direction so this is the second thing which we are uh, getting in the form of research mobilization for research the third thing in the year 2009 that i would like to put over here that uh, a, one agreement and one development agreement in the research, in the form of faculty exchange program which uh, we got materialized with bit sindri and in that prospect our few faculty members mm -hmm. even uh, went over there to uh, attend the faculty exchange program so this is also one of the beautiful feature which i presently we are having with this criteria 3.1.1 in the uh, in the another segment as far as the fund allocation is concerned here i have tried to present the different data as a sample which uh, through which we can show here that we are getting funds from di different areas whether it is uh, government agencies or non government agencies the first thing uh, we can quote over here that is called unnat bharat abhiyan under this unnat bharat abhiyan we are very fortunate to get a, one allocated fund of rupees 50000 apart from that we have margdarshak we have a, a non government agency that is akash construction then there is jada also jada is called here jharkhand industrial area development development authority it is a government uh, called authority which is uh, uh, giving us so much uh, strong platform to develop such kind of research mobilization for research i would uh, just put uh, the contributions of uh, this jada uh, authority with our uh, college in which they have contributed a lot to provide different project uh, uh, opportunities to our uh, students as far as they have also uh, means uh, attested our college in developing the different films and documentaries that i would explain later on so the contribution of jada is nowadays with our college is increasing day by day then i would talk about this present fdp program which is going on presently and it will uh, go up to uh, one week even in that also uh, the faculty members the scholars those who are attested from outside they have to pay a registration fee of 500 rupees even that is also one of the examples of fund uh, collection uh, for the purpose of research mobilization for research next slide please we see the next slide even in this next slide also we can find out the different companies names and the uh, the sponsorship which they they uh, showed at the time of uh, one event which took place uh, in the month of april 2022 in the name of national conference and it executed on 22nd and 23rd of, of april we got the fund allocation from different government and non government agencies the sample example of uh, different agency names are here after and we can find here that we are getting the funds from different states 
not only from jharkhand we are getting fund from maharashtra we are getting fund from gujarat even from punjab also uh, we are getting support and i would personally uh, very much uh, fortunate uh, fortunate to take one company name uh, which uh, this company funded us and this is international company which belongs to singapore that is that is kc tech international limited that company also showed interest in during that national conference event execution so it shows that day by day the our involvement through research mobilization for research is increasing and we are very hopeful that under the guidance of our respected director sir we are going to get the new avenues to find out the fund allocation and the utilization of those fund in the form of uh, research mobilization next slide please now this is called 3.2 innovation ecosystem which consists of 15 marks first i will try to read out the expected requirement of nac criteria 3.2 because it has been just modified so with this uh, modification we should also be aware of that what kind of modifications are going on and in that prospect i would like to just read out the criteria 3.2 innovation ecosystem this ecosystem is bit as well as concept is concerned this ecosystem is normally uh, it is bit different from the normal concept of ecosystem in this ecosystem we have to uh, nec is expecting that we have to develop such kind of environment in in that innovative expectation innovative research and activities can be increased and nurtured this is the meaning of innovation ecosystem in that prospect the uh, expectation of nec is institution uh, has just i would just read out this institution has created an ecosystem for innovations and has initiative for creation and transfer of knowledge patents filed published incubation center facilities in the hei to be considered and there is a description that is expected in this criteria under this criteria next slide please i will just try to show the different activities which our college has already done in considering the expectation of nec criteria 3.2 uh, if you see the next slide next slide please sir yes this is the next slide which is related to the uh, our uh, related to the working in prospect of innovation ecosystem and in that prospect you can find out the expectation is the initiatives which college has taken in the form of developing innovation ecosystem and in this regard you can find out the institution created an in ecosystem for innovation incubation center and other initiatives for creative and transfer of knowledge conduction of workshop seminars on intellectual property rights and industry academia innovative practices awards for innovation won by institutions teachers research scholars students and startups under this innovation ecosystem in next slide you can find out what are the working already our college has done in this regard and it will give us a clear cut picture that in innovation ecosystem the tremendous efforts put by our college management and the director sir has led us to this position in which we can justify the requirement of nec criteria 3.2 in their own expectation next slide please sir this is called innovation ecosystem working of our college in which uh, you can find out the list of programs uh, which has been already uh, means executed uh, in support of nec criteria in innovation ecosystem 3.2 i would like to just take some name of the programs uh, we have just gone through a one day entrepreneurship awareness program that is eap with the collaboration of msme uh, de development institute rachi then we have uh, set up one research lab that is related to uh, particularly to mba department the objective of that research lab is to promote the students as well as the faculties to take proper call on research lab activities and they should uh, increase their knowledge as far as they should be involved in research activities so that has been done uh, with the date of 26 january 2022 then there is expression of interest for incubation center at gggscst sikandra even for that also compliances part is going on and we are expecting very soon we will be in the phase of uh, giving some proper result in the area of incubation center then we uh, 
executed one program that was related to entrepreneurship development program under Ajadi Kamrit Mahotsav. If you consider that program, uh, the, the stalwarts of uh, Bukaro industrial area and the nearby area uh, took very positively in this program. And we are very fortunate that under their guidance, our students and the faculty members actually uh, tried to gain the knowledge related to industry and their requirements from their side. Then uh, we attended, uh, we executed one program on workshop in intellectual property, property rights, IPR. That is also give us so many clear cut idea related to IPR. Then there are so many other programs also, even for skill development also, our uh, efforts are in the form of application uh, submitted to uh, relevant authorities for this skill development area. So uh, then I would definitely like to put uh, number nine in which our students from CSC department they started first harvest uh, uh, program in the name of their company and they uh, those startups were nurtured by our college itself in that the faculty members role was very important so even for startups from a student side even for that also our college is trying to promote them and uh, conceptualize them and help them to develop innovation ecosystem concept next slide please You can find here, sir, uh, uh, in the month, as I quoted earlier, in the month of 22nd and 23rd April, uh, a national conference was organized uh, under the guidelines of uh, GOT. GOT was directly, Jharkhand University of Technology was directly involved in this function and in this conference. And to that also, uh, we got so many research publications uh, under the UGC care list. And this way, uh, it also uh, gave us a boost up to uh, contribute our efforts in the form of innovation ecosystem. Then uh, we have we had one program on teaching methodology and industry 4.0 that also uh, gave us a very clear cut idea in the form of you know, uh, academics and industry exposure connection, uh, which led us to develop some innovation in that area. Even now we have executed program in the form of ICT also. So uh, this, these are the certain areas where we are doing uh, our, uh, we are putting our efforts to get a good exposure and platform as far as innovation ecosystem is concerned. Next slide, please. This is the research publication and award criteria 3.3. It consists of 25 marks. Under this program, uh, NEC has just revised one rule that now whatever research publications are being shown by the faculty members, it must be uh, reflected in UGC care list. And so we, are, we have started working on the filtration of these data. So in that prospect, uh, the, the publications which took, which has taken place five, uh, one year earlier, that is also uh, being filtered by the faculty members and the current uh, national conference in which uh, more than 28, 29 papers were published, which all comes under UGC care list. That is, I think that from college side, it's a great achievement as far as research paper publications are concerned. So next slide, please. Yes, so this is criteria 3.3.2. This criteria is expecting of number of books and chapters in edited volumes, books published and papers published in national and international conference proceedings per teacher during last five years. In this criteria, uh, we have collected all the data relevant to our publication since last five years. And we are having a very positive side to know that the collection of data is showing the efforts and involvement of our faculty members in different uh, prospect as far as national journals are concerned or international journals are concerned, patents are concerned, books, publications, chapters or book publications are concerned. In all that segment, our faculty members have contributed a lot. That can be uh, been shown in the form of one Excel sheet which uh, has been prepared uh, by this NEC criteria three members. Next, in the in next slide, you can find out these things. Sir, so next slide, please. This is this is the one salient feature of uh, research publication and awards that I have personally developed one uh, uh, slide on this. This is relevant to our uh, national conference 
Uh, just I would like to read out some of the uh, salient features of National uh, Conference. Conducting of National Conference on Recent Trends of Engineering, Science and Management, that is NCRT SN 2022, on the theme Technology Transfer for Growth and Sustainability on 22nd and 23rd April 2022 at GGSESTC Kanda in collaboration with JUT, Dhakan University of Technology. And it has got a separate ISPN number which has been quoted over here. Then we have, uh, as I have uh, uh, described earlier, that we have got tremendous uh, support from different industries, and those industries' names have been quoted over here. And 31 paper research papers published by various scholars of GGSTC Kangra and other national and international colleges. In that, appreciation letter has been awarded in the name of our respected director, sir, Dr. Piyadarsi Jadwar, sir, and our TNP head, Dr. Rajiv Khan, sir. It has been issued by JOP. So this is a great achievement as far as the efforts which we are putting uh, towards uh, research publication and awards. That's why I tried to separately quote this achievement in a separate slide, with a separate slide. Next slide, please, sir. Just a second. Sorry to get. So in this slide, uh, we can find out the different data which has been compiled by the members of NAC Criteria Three, and with the support of all the faculty members of our college. In this, we can find out department or wise uh, national journal, international journal, Indian patents, international level patents contribution which we have achieved. In, since last five years. In this, we can find out a very good data that is re related to our research publication and awards. Even for awards also, just I have quoted that we have received, received awards uh, through GOT for our director, sir, and TNP head. And we are uh, going to have certain events also as director, sir, is having uh, various plans related to research publication and awards. So next slide, please. This is the uh, data that, that is uh, that belongs to before 2021. We are just uh, in the phase of compilation of data. As I have just said, that uh, nowadays NEC has, NEC has just changed one rule that all the publications should be uh, listed in UGC care group. So as per their requirement, now I'm again refiltering the data. So it will uh, come with another conclusion uh, with the, with uh, in the support of that NEC requirement. Next slide, please. Next slide, please, sir. This is called, sir, criteria 3.4 or 4. It is called extension activities. And uh, I personally belong, this is my own, our, my own perception, that in this particular extension, the efforts which uh, has been put by all the members of criteria 3, including, I would personally uh, take name of our respected director, sir, and Dr. A.P. Barwal, sir, also in this regard. They have uh, even of events have been uh, organized and executed very properly as far as the uh, the criteria 3 ex requirement is concerned uh, by NEC criteria 3. I will just uh, read out the extension activity. Uh, Whether my voice is clear, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, ma'am. So, so I'm just uh, I'm just uh, trying to explain the concept of criteria 3.4.1. Uh, it consists criteria 3.4 consists of 14 marks. Extension activities are carried out in the neighborhood community. I request some of the members kindly mute themselves because it is creating a noise here. It's my humble request. Members, yes, I request having... to the participants to kindly mute their, their mics because, yes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the support. So, if we discuss criteria 3.4.1, this is a basic concept. As we can see, even in corporate sector also, there is a concept of CSR. It is called corporate social responsibility in that it's the responsibility of corporate sector to uh, help uh, in developing uh, the different upgraded 
activities or basic amenities to adjacent or nearby areas in which their uh, establishments are there in the with the same concept if even uh, nac is expecting this same thing from the institutions also what contribution we are uh, giving to our adjacent or nearby areas that makes a uh, call of extension activities in this regard we have uh, done a very very uh, important uh, work which i will just uh, show through our listings and we have tried to uh, deal with the social issues also and we even we, we are having so many expected projects also in this regard so this 3.4.1 uh, uh, takes us to uh, uh, lead in that area where our involvement for the society our responsibility for the society is clarified next slide please in this uh, uh, we can uh, see over here that this is the expectation of nac criteria 3.4.3 and 3.4.3.1 and this nac says that uh, through nss ncc red cross yrc what kind of awareness programs or what kind of programs events uh, college or institution is uh, organizing for the betterment of their adjacent society that is expected over here and in the support of that expectation what our college has done that you, that would be clear in next slides next slide please this is the slide in which it, it is uh, being shown uh, that year wise what contribution we people are uh, giving in the area of extension activities i will just uh, because it is to, uh, 2000 it is the mid 2022 so till now we have uh, organized 15 activities and in th the activities which are prominent pro prominent over here those have been here quoted quoted you can see national girl child rashtriya balika divas then nss we are having presence of nss since past 2016 then then uh, state we have organized state level science exhibition in the year in the month of february 2022 then uh, voter awareness program international women's day uh, prabhat ferry by nss in kandra village blood donation camp controlling of young mind to escon people in this escon people uh, preacher came to our college and he uh, guided our student that how to control of young mind to uh, avoid the distractions of their life and to concentrate more on studies then we celebrated ravinar tagore jayanti on night day this is the biggest achievement uh, this year we uh, got by organizing a very very fruitful alumni day then our contribution uh, in the field, field of extension activities is related to uh, give masses to society also in that prospect uh, our respected director sir as as i'm sorry once again as i'm thinking through mobile so i'm continuously getting some calls so it is creating disturbance am I, my voice is audible sir yes sir ma'am yes, yes sir audible, yes, audible. So, in 2022 uh, this film division uh, has made three movies uh, in, which is uh, described in uh, uh, separate slide but this is a very big achievement from our college side because uh, one of the film which is called aspandan that has been awarded also that has been recognized in hyderabad also so the description of and details of uh, all these films are made by our college Uh, people and under the guidance of respected director sir has created a huge impact as far as the nearby society is concerned through all these films uh, college has tried to give a clear cut message of awareness in society even that the role of giada is unforgettable unforgettable by giving opportunities to make some films on the basis of uh, creating awareness in society then we have some kavi has kavi sammelan in the name of hahaka it is called in that college has uh, shown its sponsorship by uh, providing some fund to that hahaka uh, group then we have social media uh, upliftment also in which uh, all the informations and all the videos are relevant to uh, our college is uploaded again uh, on daily basis then youtube is also there in which faculty members Uh, those who are contributing in the form of taking video lectures through online process are recorded and stored and also it is presented in the form of into our college based youtube channels then 
we have msme registration this is a very good news for all of us who are the members of uh, dgsc stc group that we have got the registration from msme so these are the achievement of uh, 2022 in the form of extension activities in this same manner we have got the achievement in the year 2021 also we have celebrated each and every function and events which are relevant to extension activities and uh, for the uh, for creating a good message in society as well as in uh, students all the single uh, events have been well coordinately executed in this form in 2021 we can find out that covid 19 vaccination day was celebrated in that vaccination process was not only for the faculty and staff member of gcs stc group but it was also allowed for all the adjacent village people and the people who are living close to uh, our college so so next slide please sir next slide please sir yes so these are the uh, certain achievements of 2021 if you see the year 2020 uh, again the extension activities which were conducted by uh, our college is uh, 22 in numbers and in that you can also found out that we are as nec is expecting uh, gender uh, avoidance of gender imbalances even in that prospect also beti bachao beti padhao abhiyan swachhta pakhwara was Uh, done for one week plantation of saplings water recycling and energy conservation cleanliness stock so on so forth drive in hostel drive on water conservation village activities by institution in association with ngos barrier free access of drinking water and toilet facilities in villages then pariksha pe charcha these are the different activities which are conducted uh, in taking into consideration uh, of the expectation of that criteria 3.4 in the form of extension activities then you can take the example of year 2019 also even in that also 22 activities have been arranged and different activities uh, are uh, executed over here considering the expectation of nec criteria 3.4 in 2018 also we have done so many activities and so these uh, these uh, these uh, uh, data are uh, again and again uh, updated and maybe that uh, we are going to add so many different events and activities in coming future also as far as the extension activities are concerned next slide please then this is the separate slide which i have tried to uh, make uh, uh, in the form of a separate achievement which has been uh, done by our college and under, under the guidance of our uh, respected director sir and in that prospect if you see uh, the movie aspandan i will just describe this movie because this movie has uh, created a huge history over here and the uh, college has got, got so many appreciation in uh, adjacent areas and even in uh, even in other states also uh, our respected director sir and uh, associates personally visited to hyderabad in the, uh, on the premiere show of this movie aspandan i will just describe this movie The film Aswandan has been made by GGS CSTC Kanda under the leadership and guidance of Dr. Priyadar Singh Jaruhar sir. The story centers around a village boy in Jharkhand who wants to take admission in good college but is financially weak and is unaware of the different supportive schemes. The college team addresses the village man and appreciate appraise them for various rural development schemes run by the government as well as private scholarship given to uh, meritorious students. The film was shown in Fifth National Film Festival on Rural Development 2022, held at NIRDPR on 25th November 2021 at Hyderabad. On the behalf of DGS CSTC, Dr. Priyadarsh Jaruhar has been awarded with a participatory certificate. The film premiere show was conducted on 9th December 2021 at Seminar Hall, DGS CSTC, Bhopal. So. this through this movie the college has tried to give message to adjacent areas that even if you are not financially comfortable and you are very much desperate to uh, go for higher education the college has opened its venues for those uh, financially weak students and college remains always intact with in the support of those kind of students through that movie college uh, gave such kind of message and in response they the college and the film division team Uh, was appreciated a lot now the next movie name is firebirds 
this movie uh, was made for giada as i mentioned earlier also and it is totally uh, written and directed uh, directed by our uh, respected director sir dr k dilshi jirwa sir for giada and it is written and directed by sir it was made for the purpose of giving guidance to all in concern of all the services provided and available at giada the movie was appreciated by not only giada authority but also it was presented at same office by giada so this is a this is one of the great achievement to that we have giada tried to give message to all the nearby people that what kind of services and support giada people provide in that our college contributed to develop that film as per the expectation of giada even for that uh, film whatever fee was quoted by director sir it was reimbursed to giada so this is also a type of fund allocation then uh, college made one ek mat single vote uh, uh, one minute movie Um, this movie uh, carries the theme importance of informed and ethical uh, voting for young and first time uh, votes it was made under national voter awareness uh, contest by the election commission of india's uh, india of 1 minute duration and was shown on 14th march 2022 it was directed and written by dr priyadar sri jerohar our respected director sir this is the uh, unique feature of our college by developing this film unit sir has given us a tremendous exposure as far as our connectivity uh, with adjacent area is expected uh, by giving certain social messages uh, to the society in that prospect these movies are uh, being made and in, we are expect uh, expecting very uh, more movies in this respect would come in coming future next slide please sir this is called uh, unnat bharat abhiyan why i have quoted unnat bharat abhiyan and nss separately because uh, i'm not going to read this vision and mission because it is uh, clear to all people but unnat unnat bharat abhiyan what is the effort our college has put that is uh, clear uh, by adopting the name of adopting the five villages unnat unnat bharat abhiyan the name of those villages are over here that is jala dama jor institution ko bharia sahanjori oh. then tilo these are the villages which have been adopted to unnat bharat abhiyan and our college is putting so much effort that to uh, under the program of an objective of unnat bharat abhiyan our concerns should be shown in these uh, those five adopted villages next slide please then this is this is one of the greatest feature of our college that is called nss the existence and presence of nss can be shown over here since 2017 and from then onwards once our uh, respected director sir uh, joined our organization he made so much, he put so much efforts as far as nss uh, unit uh, execution is concerned and nowadays uh, more than 100 students of our college have uh, deeply involved uh, in uh, this nss activities and through those strength our college is organizing different activities as far as different adopted villages are concerned even under nss we have adopted five villages related to uh, gaining the objective of uh, nss next slide please next slide please i think uh, prior to that yes this is this is uh, the slide which is related to upcoming activities uh, which would come under the preference of actual activities in which uh, crs is there that is community radio system and the compliances part is still going on and we are very hopeful that in coming day coming days we are going to uh, get the exposure on this to our college then our nss work so many nss events are uh, designed for the for the purpose of adopted villages and we have just started one very unique uh, uh, thing uh, sir kindly unmute yourself prabhakar sir that is called yes uh, stc is academy through that is academy our college is trying to uh, are in such kind of classes in which uh, all the participants who are interested to crack is is because that is a very prestigious exam can get support in this regard for that 
sir has trying to uh, develop connection with so many uh, scholars which are giving services to different coaching institutes and they are they are having achievement uh, by cracking the civil services also just recently one of this uh, person was cracked uh, jpsc examination under the uh, guidance of our respected director sir uh, who has also uh, shown his interest to contribute as far as ggs stc is academy is concerned these are the uh, extension activities which are, through which we are trying to uh, serve the society of our uh, college and adjacent areas next slide please this is the uh, presence of nss uh, through uh, our college and in this regard we have uh, uh, executed so many uh, activities under nss these are the listed activities and the name of the listed villages which are present over here in which we are trying to create awareness in under azadi ka amrit mahotsav programs are conducted uh, have been conducted that is entrepreneurship awareness program jharkhand science innovative Uh, take exhibition then international women's day opening uh, awareness activities and international women's day break the bias up to, so we are having so many upcoming activities also which are designed for uh, nss and their volunteers uh, in the name of yoga day cycle rally and uh, nyp which is uh, going to be conducted in coming months then beti bachao beti padhao abhiyan at villages these are the coming activities which are going to take place next slide Ma'am, have time now because I have to just deal with the last segment of uh, this criteria three. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Okay, so this this is the last segment of uh, collaboration of criteria three. It, it consists of twenty marks. The number of, in this uh, collaboration part, the number of MOUs, collaborations, linkages for faculty exchange, student exchange, internship, field trip, on the job training, research, and other academic activities during the last five years. So this collaboration. uh nec is expecting means what efforts you are putting in developing and establishing the relationship as far as the industry and other academics is concerned and in that prospect what exactly college is doing for the betterment of the students also so in that prospect we have certain functional mous which are listed below and in next slide it will come uh, next slide please sir in which i can show you the listed uh, mous which which is already going on, on and all the mous are functional in character means they are supporting us they are uh, guiding us and at the same time they are also taking our help also as far as giada bokaro is concerned giada is also giving us so many assignment by calling our faculty expert faculty members to their side and they are also trying to develop the collaboration at the same time giada is helping our student to get different project as far as sip is concerned oh. summer internship project is concerned to uh, different instruments in the form of electro steel uh, then uh, dalmia cement and other uh, other companies also so this way this collaboration function is going on and uh, we are hopeful that uh, in coming future in coming days uh, so many more collaboration is going to take place and uh, i will just uh, give you some of the prospect of uh, uh, future collaborations with in the form of a slide next slide please we are having uh, development uh, of collaboration uh, concept uh, with so many hospitals we are in the phase of uh, uh, going through the mous with hospitals then we are having uh, expected one collaboration with padmasri dr vivek kulte college of engineering malkapur then uh, we are in the process of uh, getting uh, developing the collaboration with central university of jharkhand then one ramrudra high school chas is there Uh, when with that also district level library uh, is uh, present over here for that also we are trying to develop collaboration and many more is awaited also so uh, even in this segment also college is putting lots of effort efforts to develop and stay on the as per the expect expectation of my criteria three then next slide please this is uh, from my part but one another segment a slide has been added from my side uh, which are the up upcoming pro projects just by two three lines i would just try like to put those uh, things next slide please so uh, i think okay so uh, that slide it was uh, 
certain kind of expected uh, project to which has to take place in coming future and for that uh, all the uh, all the people are doing so much effort under the guidance of our respected director sir just one more slide after thank you there is a slide which has been added by me in this regard sir there is no more slides sir no more slide na no no okay. it is last maybe slide. maybe uh, maybe maybe it okay, is not added okay maybe maybe no. so with this i am concluding this uh, part of criteria 3 i hope that uh, i tried my level best to uh, explore this criteria 3 thank you so much thank you so much all of you uh, thank you so much sir for giving your valuable information for nac criteria 3 very excellent presentation sir thank you ma'am thank you ma'am uh, thank you now i request all the participants please put out their camera or for a photo session Okay, uh, so we will go for the uh, next session, technical two session. So I would like to invite the resource person, Dr. Rajesh Prashad Parma, Dean Academics of GGSTC, for Criteria Four, to present the presentation. Presentation. Yes, sir. Good morning. Sir, your slide is not visible. Good morning, Chief Patel, Sri Darshan Singh Sir, Chief Patel, and Chief Guest Doctor Professor Vijay Pandey, Honorable Vice Chancellor JUT Rachi, Doctor A K Chaudhary, Honorable Register J JUT Patel, Sri S P Singh, Honorable Secretary G G E S Bokaro, Immunities as Speakers. Immunities faculties, principal convener, Dr. Priyadarshi Jaruhar, sir, director, G G E S T C, I Q C head, Professor Swetha Kumari, all participant. Today I have present National Assessment and Accreditation Council, 2020, revised criteria for infrastructure and learning. resources nec continues with its effort <coughs> on quality culture of the institution in term of quality initiative quality sustenance and quality enhance the forestation manual nec 2020 22 is further more effective for assessment this process <coughs> criteria 4 is the four indicator first is physical facility second is library as a learning resource it infrastructure and maintenance of campus in criteria 4 key indicator and sub matrix physical facilities library physical facilities has two types quality and quantity in the respective category weightage of physical facilities weightage are total 30 library as a resource learning is weightage of 20 it infrastructure weightage are thirty mass and maintenance of campus infrastructure weightage is twenty mass Key indicator 4.1 physical facilities. 
physical facility adequate infrastructure facilities like c4 effective and efficient conduct of the educational program the growth of infrastructure thus has to keep place with the academic development in the institution the other supportive facilities on the campus are developed to continue the effective the other supporting facilities adequate infrastructure facilities ad academic development in the institution also depend upon the growth of infrastructure supporting facility like ict tools provide effective amenity for the curriculum ict information communication technology consists of the hardware software network and media the collection a storage process transmission and presentations of information that is voice data text image as well as related services and also budget for annual maintenance and replacement of physical facilities which will ensure their availability on a continuous basis matrices 4.11 with the write up of 500 word uh, about the infrastructure and facility physical facility available in the institution as per the minimum specific height required by the statutory bodies attach or upload required group as a file also can uploaded any additional information for uploading document as a proof photo of the facility needed to be attached through the link photos can be captured in the specifications gps map camera required 2.8 mb second part 4.12 matrix is percentage of expenditure excluded salary for infrastructure argument during last last 5 year calculated from the table use the table use the formula total expenditure of infrastructure argument excluded salary by total expenditure excluding salary into 100 related document also uploaded हाँ नेक्स्ट की इंडिकेटर इज फोर पॉइंट टू लाइब्रेरी एज ए रिसोर्स द लाइब्रेरी होल्डिंग इन द टर्म ऑफ टाइटल्स ऑफ बुक्स जर्नल एंड अदर लर्निंग मटेरियल एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एडेड लर्निंग मैकेनिज्म विच एनेबल द स्टूडेंट टू एक्वायर इंफॉर्मेशन नॉलेज एंड अ स्किल रिक्वायर्ड फॉर देयर स्टडीज upload in digital technology made domestic change in the functioning of the library automation of library using ilms use of for e journal and books provide remote access to e resources development and utilization in the expect are important indicator have you automated the library using ilms ILMS and enterprise resources planning system for a library used to track item on order made bill paid and pattern who have no data required name of software whether fully or partially automated version of software year of automation upload required information with groups matrix number 4.21 how many numbers of teacher and a student use library per day over last one year data is required calculation is number of teacher and 
a student using library per day divided by total number of teacher and a student into 100 that process is calculation for percentage of requirement next the indicator is 4.3 it infrastructure institution frequently update its it facilities and provide sufficient bandwidth for internet connection also this write up in maximum 500 word and uploaded additional information it infrastructure whether the institute adopt policy a strategy for adequate technology development and maintenance whether the ict tools facility and other learning resources are adequately available in the institution for academic and administrative purposes they the institute frequently upload it facilities including wi fi upload the relevant document as a proof additional information can be also uploaded and provide to link for the other person a student computer ratio calculated number of computer available in a student usage during the last latest completed academic year what is the student computer ratio in institution describe total number of computer in working condition for the total number of student in the institution mention the available of bandwidth for internet connection in the institution for the option and upload required proof criteria 4.4 maintenance of the campus infra structure maintenance campus infra structure having adequate maintenance infrastructure is not enough for effective institution functioning but regular maintenance periodic replacement of infrastructure is essential it is necessary that in the that in the infrastructure high the su sufficient resource allocated for regular update of the infrastructure and is effective mechanism of the infrastructure facility and promote the optimum usage of the same whether they are existing regular maintenance and periodic resources allocated regular upkeeping of infrastructure mechanism of upkeeping infrastructure facility and also use the expenditure in fueled on maintenance of infrastructure facility and academic support facilities excluding salary component year wise during last 5 years inr in lakhs year and number calculate the percentage total expenditure in cure on maintenance of infrastructure excluding salary during the last 5 year divided by total expenditure excluding salary during the last 5 year thank you thank you so much sir my voice is audible uh thank you so much sir for sharing your immense knowledge in criteria 4 now i request our director sir for giving his insights on today's fdp yes sir is easy so yes ma'am am i audible yeah yeah Uh, ma'am i would like to say that today both the presentations technical presentations are actually uh, very good very informative very explicit my special uh, course appreciation to professor prabhakar sir he has done an excellent job he has uh, gathered so many information regarding their regarding his criteria yes, sir so very very congratulations to you thank sir you, and your thank team you. sir next i would also thank like you. to thank yeah, a big uh, appreciation and congratulations to uh, verma sir Rajendra Prasad Verma, sir, Dean Academics and Administration, Administration, uh, GGS ESTC. Sir, even your presentation is full of information, and I hope that the participants are going to have, uh, of course, information and ideas regarding preparation for their NAC uh, NAC criteria. Thank you uh, so much to both of you.
Yes, ma'am. Please go ahead. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, now I request uh, Professor Apurva, ma'am, uh, BVNBC coordinator, to give vote of thanks. <laughs> Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I am Professor Apurva Sina, BVPC Coordinator, GGSESTC. It's my immense pleasure that today I am presenting vote of thanks on third day of one week national level online FDP on NAC revised assessment and accreditation framework 2022. I thank and express my gratitude to our chief patrons, Dr. Sam Singh, sir, Honorable President GGES. Bokaro, Chief Patron and Chief Guest, Professor Dr. Vijay Pandey, Sir, Honorable Vice Chancellor J.U.T. Rachi, Patron Sri S.P. Singh, Sir, Honorable Secretary G.G.E.S. Bokaro, Principal Convener Dr. Priyadarsi Jaruhar, Sir, Director G.G.S.E.S.T.C. Bokaro. I heartily thank to Speaker of Criteria 3, Professor Pravakar Kumar Sir, HOD MBA Department. And Criteria 4, Professor Dr. Rajendra Prashad Sir, Academic, Dean Academics and Administration for sharing such informative presentation on that. I heartily thanks to our team, Professor Pallavi Prashad Ma'am, Administrative Officer for her support and guidance, Professor Anupriya Ma'am for hosting today's session, Professor Sweta Kumari, IQSC Coordinator, Professor Tej Bahadur Sir, Professor Nisan Kumar Sir, Professor Mahmood Alam Sir, and Mr. Anil Kumar Singh Sir for giving their effort to make this FDP successful. Now I close this today's session. Tomorrow we will, be, we will meet for FDP uh, program at the same time, that is 11 a.m. Tomorrow for, for, fourth, uh, for fourth day session of criteria five and six. And thank you everyone.